Hello, good evening, Ana Maria. Are you there? Hello, hello. Good evening, my day. Can you hear me well? Oh, I'm so sorry, uh, Maria. I hope that your daughter gets better. Yeah, you can be as, as a listener. My dear, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, okay. teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you today? Fine in the working. Working? Yeah. Work. <laughs> Work in 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 every day okay morning afternoon what is your work schedule is from seven to five from seven to four from eight to five or what is the regular schedule what what is your work schedule like from what time to what time do you work uh and from the Seven. From seven? Uh-huh, seven. Two? Two, uh, 20 is a, a almuerzo. <laughs> oh. What? What do you want to say? My dear, what do you what do you try to say? What are you trying to say? Try. ¿Qué intenta decir? Ah. ¿Qué quiere decir? Uh -huh. Es que no sé si comprendí mal la pregunta. I asked you what is your regular work schedule like? From what time to what time do you work? For example, I work from seven thirty until five p.m. From 7 30 in the morning until 5 p.m. That is my work schedule. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. 7 morning and 5 p.m. From 7 to 5. From, from 7 to 5, 5 p.m. Okay, no, got it. No, 4. <laughs> it's from 4 7 to 4. Okay, uh -huh. okay, from 7 to 4 is more acceptable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to move on. I see Elias, Teresa, and also Roberto here. How are you guys? Elias, Teresa, can you hear me? Good night, teacher. Hello, good, good evening. evening. How's everything? How are you doing? Mm, so, so. So, so, how are you feeling right now? Are you feeling tired, a little sleepy, hungry? You want to eat something? Um, I'm hungry. Hungry. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Very, very hungry. Elias, what about you? Um, I feel very tired. Tired. Okay, tired is a normal feeling after a long day of work okay uh veronica uh, can you hear me veronica. i have a sleep oh i need <laughs> ah so you feel sleepy i'm if you say i'm sleepy it's like i want to i want to sleep i want to go to sleep Tengo sueño. I'm sleeping. Okay, that's another feeling. Uh, what about Sonia? How are you feeling right now? I'm going to give you some options. Okay, I'm going to give you some options. I will write the words in the chat. 
The first option is tired. Alba, thank you for participating. Tired, I'm going to say uh, sleepy. That's another option. Um, say exhausted. If you, want to, if you want to say that you're feeling very, very, very tired, you say exhausted. Exhausted, that's the word. Okay. Um, let's say another feeling that it's normal at this time is hungry. And I'm going to include one more. Okay. Tired, sleepy, exhausted, hungry. And we're going to say um, something positive. Okay. Relax. Let's say that you feel relaxed. So, um, Alba, let me check. How are you feeling right now? Alba Aguilar? Yes, I'm feel relaxed. Relaxed. Elena, what about you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you feeling? Thank you, understand. How are you feeling right now? <laughs> ¿Cómo se siente en este momento? How are you feeling right now? How do you feel right now? You have some options there. I'm sleepy, I'm I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm hungry, I'm relaxed, I'm I sad. Yeah. You're sad. Why? Uh, <laughs> a lot of reasons, different reasons. Different reasons. Okay. okay, got it. And let's see. I hope that you feel better soon. I hope that you feel better soon. Sonia? Well, Sonia already participated, I think. Um, Isaac? Well, Sonia, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello. So, how are you feeling right now? Um, I feel cansada. Uh, tired. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, Isaac, what about you? Hello. Hello. I I am a little sick. Oh, do you have the flu or something like that? Mm, dolor de cabeza, no sé cómo es. How do you say dolor de cabeza? That's a good question. Uh -huh. Anybody? How do you say dolor de cabeza? Headache. Yeah. Headache. That's correct. Headache. Okay. Thank you. Headache. That's, a, that's, that's right. So, um, have you taken any medicine? Yes. Okay. I hope that you feel better soon. Thank you. Okay, Loida. Hi, DJ. Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you feeling right now? Oh, don't tell me you're driving. No, no, no. No? Uh, okay, you're not driving. Okay, got it. Uh, I feel a little tired. A little so tired. Like, yes. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. um, okay, a little tired. It's normal at this time. And today is just Tuesday, right? So we're missing some days. Uh, uh, let's say to work. We have, we're missing three more days, right? Um, so quickly, we are going to move on. And right now we're going to make a quick review about yesterday. So yesterday we were practicing a little conversation, okay? Between um, two uh, girls, right? Between two girls, Rita and Sue. And they were talking about their families. Okay, you also had a conversation about your families, right? You were, you were asking different questions, uh, like how many people live with you, who lives with you, right? 
what's your father's name, what's your daughter's name, what's your son's name, etc. And something that you practice, something you practice yesterday uh, when you were doing those conversations was the possessive uh, noun, for example, with the apostrophe. For instance, for instance, when, um, let me share with you the, okay, for instance, when you say, an example, uh, let's say Sully, okay, a name. Sully is Michael's wife, Michael's wife. It's a little example. So when you say Michael's wife, apostrophe S after the name Michael, okay, what do you say? What do you mean with the apostrophe S? That it's a possessive. It's a possessive adjective, right? So that uh, the wife of Michael is Sully. Okay, but it's not correct to say. Um, you say, for example, I am uh, the wife of Roberto, or I am the husband of Maria. It's not the correct way to say it. So we use apostrophe S for the possessive. So if you want to say, uh, soy la esposa de Roberto, for example, how do you say that in English? I'm the contraction, for example. I'm the Roberto's wife. I'm Roberto's wife. Okay, I'm Roberto's wife. How do you say, Let's suppose that Maria is, is uh, Roberto's wife. So how do you say, uh, soy el esposo de Maria? I'm Maria's, Maria's husband. Maria's wife. No, I'm Maria's husband. husband. Husband, husband. I'm Maria's husband. Okay. Let's suppose, let's suppose that Maria, okay, that Maria has one daughter, one daughter, and um, her name, her name is, let's suppose, Patricia, okay? So how do you say uh, Patricia es la hija de Maria? Patricia... Is Maria's daughter. Maria's daughter. Very okay. good. Daughter. Yes. Now, uh, let's suppose that Roberto and Maria have also one son, and the son's name is Carlos. How do you say? Carlos es el hermano de Maria. I mean, de Patricia. How do you say Carlos es el hermano de Patricia? Carlos is Patricia's brother. Carlos is Patricia's brother. brother. Patricia's brother. Excellent. And if you change the order, uh, if you want to say Patricia, Patricia, el, Patricia es la hermana Patricia de Carlos. Patricia Carlos brother. Carlos sister. Patricia is sister. Carlos. Carlos. Aha, uh -huh, Carlos' sister. So if you see here, uh, what mm -hmm. happens with the with the example here, Carlos' sister. With the we ha we have the letter S in Carlos, so it's not normal that you say Carlos' sister. Okay, so uh, in that case, when the noun or the name finishes in the letter S like Carlos or Marielos, for example, you only add the apostrophe, no S. Okay, only apostrophe. Patricia is Carlos' sister. Very good. Now, this is one of the topics that you were practicing yesterday in the conversation. You were practicing in the, um, the breakout rooms, right? So just for your information, right? Just for your information. Now, 
We are going to move on, okay? I'm going to stop sharing the whiteboard. And we are going to start, uh, okay, we have more students coming. Glenda, welcome. Uh, Soveda, I see Dinora, Jancy, and that's it, right? So hello, it's good. To, hello, it's good to be with you on this session number 14. So we're just missing two more sessions to finish the module number one of the pre-intermediate module. Okay, got it. Perfect. So um, let me share the screen with you quickly so that you can um, quickly remember just what we were doing yesterday. Okay, for the people who were not able to connect, we practiced conversations. We uh, talked about the platform okay, online, because some people need to continue working on the exercises and the evaluations to finish with the section four and to start working on section five so you can finish section five and the final quiz. So by today or tomorrow, you have to be finished with the section five, okay, so that on Thursday, we finish the, the classes, we finish the module, and you are finished with all of your assignments. So please work on the platform, okay? Um, if you have any problems, you know that you can ask me and I will help you on anything that I can. Now, let's take a look. So this was a conversation, okay, between Rita and Zoo. We talked about intonation in statements and I mentioned that the majority of the times uh, or most of the time, the intonation in statements is falling, okay? So you say, she's waiting at the bus stop. They're living at home. I don't have any brothers, okay, like that. So um, we talked about family members, okay? We mentioned around 18. I think it was uh, Victoria who, who got the victory, right? She mentioned around 18 or 19 different words related to family members. In, in, in terms of pronunciation, okay, I have to clarify that we have, a, for example, cousin, uh, that's a word that some people confuse at the beginning. Niece and nephew, those are two other words that people tend to confuse. Niece and nephew. Niece okay. is the girl and nephew is the boy, right? For sobrina and sobrino. Um, the other word that is sometimes confused is uncle, because some people say ankle, but it's uncle or it's not uncle or un uncle. Um, then we have a aunt, right, for tia. Uh, sometimes it's possible to say aunt, like eh, people understand it, but aunt is the most common one. And then the last one um, that I have to clarify is the in-law, in-law um, and step family. In-law is the family of your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Their family are your, for example, your mother-in-law, that would be a suegra, right? That some people don't like or don't have a good relation with. Um, we have the father-in-law, that would be suegro, sister-in-law is the cuñada, right? And brother-in-law is cuñado. Um, then we mentioned the step brother, stepfather, stepsister, stepmother. That is what we know as madrastra, padrastro, hermanastra, hermanastro. And one more that Victoria mentioned yesterday was a gat. Gat mother, gat father, gat son, and gat daughter. That would be like madrina, padrina, padrino, right? Ahijado and ahijada. So that would be the, the other words that... It's not direct family, but it's part of the family, right? Um, and we practice it with the family tree that belongs to, a, in this case, Sam, okay? Um, now, as extra practice maybe, or if you want to just think about your family, maybe you can make a little family tree, right? On, on your notebook so that you can see how far back you can go. I don't know if you have ever tried that. Have you? Have you ever tried to create a, a family tree and see where you come from? Yes, no? 
¿Alguien alguna vez ha tratado de hacer un árbol, árbol genealógico? No, teacher. No. That's a little interesting. That's a little interesting. Okay, so you can investigate a little bit about your great, 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 great father, great, 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 great grandmother. Uh, so you find out where you come from, where your family comes from. For example, my, oh, Ana Maria says, yes, she has tried. For example, my great grandmother came from, she was from Armenia in, I think it's in Sonsonate, I'm not so sure. Uh, my grandfather was from San Miguel. My great grandfather was from San Miguel. My father was from Honduras. My great grandfather on my father's side was from El Salvador, supposedly. So there's a mix of different relatives that I can connect. And so it's a little bit part of your history, right? Who we are. Now we're going to move on. And um, we, oh, we had the, the last activity at the end of the class yesterday to have a little survey or a little test. How much do you know about the fa these famous people, right? Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta Jones, husband, wife, father and son, Julio and Enrique, right? Francis Coppola and Nicolas Cage, uncle and uh, nephew. And then we mentioned that they were the sisters, Annette and Shirley, those are actresses, let's say. Um, what other fame? famous or celebrity relationships, do you know? Or do you remember? Any idea? Alejandra Guzman and Enrique Guzman. Ah, what is the relation between them? Father and daughter. Father and daughter, very good. Um, Yeah, that's a good example. Vicente, right? And Alejandro Fernandez. That would be like Julio Iglesias and Enrique Iglesias, right? Father and son. Correct. And um, just that, right? We're going to move on with the next example. So here we have the grammar focus. This topic is really, really, really easy. In my opinion, it's easy because uh, we use it a lot in Spanish, right? Why? Because we are talking about the actions or the situations that are happening at the moment that, are, that we are speaking, right? For example, right now, what am I doing? What am I doing here? Am I playing soccer? Am I watching TV? Am I listening to music? What am I doing? Am I drinking coffee? No, it's not coffee, it's tea. <laughs> okay, for my throat, I have to take care of it. So what am I doing right now? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? I am doing two things right now. I am talking, I am talking, right? I'm speaking English uh, and Elias, you are I am I am, learning. Okay, so, so Ada, I am, okay, you are teaching. Okay, correct. Uh, so, Teresa, you mentioned, you said something? I am learning English. I am learning English, very good. Are you <laughs> listening to me right now? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay, um, for example, uh, let's see Elias. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Elias, are you, I will give you three options. Are you standing, are you sitting, or are you laying down on your bed? Are you standing, está de pie? Are you sitting, está sentado? Are you laying down on your bed, está acostado? Mm. Sentado sería? I am sitting. 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 Okay, I'm sitting. I'm sitting. Okay, sitting. you're sitting. Um, who is with you right now at home? Who is with you? 
Me está preguntando cómo es mi casa. No. Who is with you right now? ¿Quién está con usted en este momento? En el cuarto ahorita estoy solo. No, in your home. In your, I mean, at home. In your house. My mother, my okay, father. Your, your mother, your sister. father, and your sister. What is your father doing right now? Or what do you think your father is doing right now? Or your mother or your sister? ¿Qué están haciendo ellos ahorita, eh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Maybe you don't see them, but you think that you, they, they are watching TV or they are sleeping. What do you think mm -hmm. they are doing right now? My, ¿Qué piensa que están haciendo? My, huh? my father... Sleep is sleeping. Ah, uh, is sleeping. My okay, is 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 studying English. Studying English. Okay, sí. very good. My mother. ¿Cómo sería? Quiero ver terminando de hacer oficio en casa. Is finishing. Is finishing. The housework. Uh -huh. Is finishing my, my housework. Uh, the housework. Okay. Excellent. Now, mm -hmm. it, very good example. Okay. Thank you. Claps for Elias. Okay. Um, so, in this case, if you see, it's not really necessary to study all the rules and the formulas and the structure because it's something very practical. Okay. Something very practical. Um, so for the present continuous, basically you have to remember two things. Number one, we use the auxiliary verb be. Am, is, are, the three forms, depending on the subject. And we use, besides the auxiliary, we use the verb in the ing form, verb plus ing, for example, if I, if I want to say, mi sobrino está viendo televisión, I will say, and it's, right now he's watching TV, okay? That will be the sentence. My nephew is watching TV. You can, you can use time expressions. For example, you can say right now, now, at the moment, okay? And, and, okay, so those are the two rules. We need the auxiliary verb be and the verb in ing. So if you say, I, I am learn English is incorrect. You didn't mention I am learning ING. If you say I listening to music is incorrect because you didn't say I am listening to music. So we need the two elements, okay? We need the two elements to form the present continuous. Now, something that is really important is that it is possible to use the present continuous for actions that are not necessarily happening at the moment of speaking. For example, if you say, ah, estoy leyendo un, un nuevo libro este, este semestre en la universidad. It's not necessary that you are reading the book right now, but this semester you are reading a book. So it is possible to use the present continuous for actions that take more time, that are long actions. For example, uh, you can tell me, teacher, you know what? I am working on my thesis project this month. Estoy trabajando en mi proyecto de tesis. Okay, right now, in this moment? No. This month? Yes, this month. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week on the weekend. So you are working on the project, okay? Now, um, it is possible, so that would be the, the rule number two. Rule number one, something that is happening at this moment. For example, uh, I see on the cameras, I can see only Rodrigo right now, okay? I can say, for example, Rodrigo is wearing a green t-shirt. Rodrigo is wearing a green t-shirt, okay? El lleva puesto, está usando una camiseta verde, right? So. What I see right now, what is happening? He is wearing a um, green t-shirt. 
I see Elias, right? For example, Elias is looking at the camera of the computer. Okay, he's paying attention. I can see that. You see, that's the reason why it is necessary to, to have, a, well, to turn on the cameras when you have good internet connection. Um, so it's something that you can see that is happening right now. Um, we are learning English. We are studying the present continuous. We are, uh, let's say, trying, trying to learn something new. Now, the rule number two is that we can use the present continuous for long actions. For example, I am reading a book. I am going to the gym this week, uh, like all week. I am going to the gym all week or I am uh, studying English this year, okay? So I began last month, I'm going, I continue right now and I will continue next month. So until December. So I am studying English this year, something that is happening, but not necessarily uh, right now. And the last rule or the last use of the present continuous is that we can use it for future plans, for future plans. For example, if I ask you, what are you doing after class? What are you doing after class? Soveda, what are you doing after class today or tonight? What are you doing after class? ¿Qué va a hacer después de clases esta noche? What are you doing? Present con you just have to use the, the, the present continuous structure. What are you okay. doing after class? I'm working in the platforms. Uh, I'm working on the platform. On the Very platform. good, on okay. the platform. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Rodrigo, what are you doing this weekend? Any plans? Your microphone is off. You gotta turn it on. Okay, okay. Yeah, in this, in this week, I planning to uh, finish my my platform in the in the English corporativo <laughs> on the I weekend. Think. Yeah. No. Ah. No. No. On the no, weekend. No. On the weekend. Oh. Uh -huh, on the weekend. On the weekend. Uh -huh. Okay. No. On the weekend, I I planning to going to the church with my mother, and I'm planning to visit my grandmother in in San Pedro Perulapan. San yeah. Pedro Perulapan. Okay. I have never been there. Thank you so much. So on, on Saturday morning, for example, I'm going to the dentist with my aunt. Uh, and on Sunday, I'm having a cup of coffee with a friend at home, here at home. So uh, those are some plans that I have. After class, I'm having dinner, <laughs> for example, tonight. I'm having dinner after class. So it is possible to use the present continuous for future plans, okay? Um, and you see the examples here. Now let's get some volunteers to read the questions and the answers. Okay, I need two volunteers right now. Okay, I need to see that everybody's here in the class. So let's check. I'm going to select Veronica and Dinora. And then Teresa will go with the next one, okay. Veronica and Dinora. Hola. Hello. Okay. Hello. Dinora, can you please read the first three questions? And um, Veronica is going to is going to answer the questions. Okay. Are you living at home? No. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay. Next question. Is your sister working for the government? Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she she's not. Or no. no. Or no, she isn't. She isn't. Excellent. Um, and she going to college this year. Okay. Yes, they are. No, they are not. They're or not. No. No, they aren't. They aren't. 
Okay, here I am going to give you a little tip. Okay, thank you so much to the volunteers. Uh, when you are speaking, you don't pronounce the letter E. So you don't, you don't have to say aren't. You just have to say aren't, aren't, okay? No, they aren't. No, they aren't, okay? Something simple as that. Now, we continue with the next two. Uh, we have Teresa as a volunteer and Rodrigo. So Teresa, can you please ask the questions and Rodrigo is going to answer them, okay? Teresa, please. Okay. Um, are, where, where are you working now? Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm not working. I need a job. Okay. Next. Next example, what, please. What is your brother doing these days? Doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Excellent. Who are your parents visiting this week? They are visiting my grandmother. They're visiting my grandmother. Okay. Class for all the volunteers. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So uh, do you have any questions about the present continuous, the explanation here before we go to the practice? Yes, no. It's yes, a teacher. piece of cake. What is the question, Saveda? El, el presente continuo. Recuerdo que había como una limitante que si, por ejemplo, yo iba a hablar de algo a dos años que yo quería hacer a dos años, no podía ocupar como el presente continuo. Correct. ¿Cuánto tiempo es como o, o en qué momento puedo saber que se ocupa y en qué momento no? Okay, normally we say we use the present continuous for plants in a short period of time. Short period of time. Okay, so the plants that you have for this week, for this weekend, it's okay. If you say I am studying um, a new major at the university this year, it's okay. It's a plan that you have right now, okay? And you use the, the present continuous to refer. That is an action that will take a long time, right? Or it's an action that you will do anytime during this year. But normally when we have a bigger plan, a bigger plan, something that you already organize and everything, you use going to. Going to is the best option for plans that you structure, that you organize. You save money, for example, all the year to go to a destination, another country. So you say, I am going to travel to Peru next year. I am saving money every month, okay, to go to Peru next year. So going to is the, is the option that we use like be going to is the option that we use for plans that are more structured and they are in the long term, okay? And going to is, I mean, and the present continuous is for a short period of time. Something that is not so, let's say, organized or well thought out, right? It's not something you have been thinking for years or for days or weeks. No, it's just a plan that you make for example, right now, uh, let's suppose that you and I have a conversation and I tell you, hey, uh, Soveda, why don't we go to the movies uh, on Sunday? And you say like, yeah, pretty good. And then somebody at home can ask you, hey, Soveda, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I'm going to the movies on Sunday with Freddie. Okay, and that's it. So it's just a simple plan, okay? That it doesn't have to take too much uh, of thinking. Um, and it's not a long, in a long term. It's not in a long term. So that would be the, 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 the use. Mm -hmm. But yeah, good question. Good point. Okay. okay. You're welcome. If you say, um, no vamos a casar dentro de cinco años. Like you're talking to your boyfriend, right? Or to your girlfriend. We should make plans, right? So you start organizing everything. So you say, hey, um, we're going to get married in 2025, for example. And you say, it's, it's a plan that you have, okay, that you have organized and you have discussed and everything. So that is better to use going to. Um, now, if your plan is getting married next month, it's possible to say, hey, you know what? I'm getting married next month. Do you want to come to my party, to my wedding? 
it is okay. Okay. Uh, it's something that is happening soon. It's something that is happening soon. I'm getting married this month. Okay. Congratulations. Good luck. So, uh, okay. Thank I, you. Good luck like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, now, I'm going to continue with the conversations. Here we have uh, two conversations. Stephanie and Mark and Marcy uh, with, mom, with his mom, right? Now, you are going to complete this conversation in purse in the breakout rooms. First, you discuss, then you write the answers, right, of the, of the spaces. And after that, you practice saying the conversations, okay? So please take a screenshot, right, of the conversation, the example, and everything. And then you are going to have exactly five minutes to complete this exercise. You have two conversations to complete. So it will take some time. I will give you six minutes, okay? If you need more, I will give, I will give you a couple of minutes more. So six minutes, so three and three, and that's it. You are going to use the present continuous, just that. Remember, we need the auxiliary, am, is, and are, and we need the verb in ing. If you pay attention to the answers, short answer, yes, I am, no, I'm not. Yes, she is, no, she's not, or she isn't. Yes, they are, or yes, we are, no, we're not, or no, we aren't, okay, like that. Okay, quickly, um, are you ready? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Wait a moment, teacher. Take it easy. Relax. <laughs> yes, we're ready. Okay, you're ready. Excellent. I like when my students are really fast and they want to do everything right away. So let's see. We have uh, 15 that would be including me. So I'm going to create just six breaker rooms. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Okay. I need to send you to the room number five. Okay, so there will be just there will be just one breakout room with three students. Okay, only one breakout room with three students. Oh no, I, let me check. Yeah, only one with three students. Okay, so here we go. In three, two, one, go. See you later. Okay, I have the invitation now. Very good. Ana uh, Maria, you can join the breakout room just to listen, right, to your classmates. Jancy, are you there? Jancy and Roberto. Let's see. Apparently, no. Okay, so Jancy, possible. Go. Okay. Isaac, how's it going? You told me that you were sick. Hello. Um, I okay. am very good. Okay, excellent. Not? So I'm going to help you out. Okay, so let's try to complete the conversation. What do you think is the compliment here in the conversation one? Hi, Stephanie. What are you doing right What are you doing? So you think that we need to add are, what are, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, mm. I, I agree with that. I think it's correct. Hey, uh, hola Mark, I stand in serie. I stand oh no, in... are you okay? Yes, I wait, uh, it, It moved now. Ah, you say, hey, Mark, I uh -huh. am standing. I am standing. That's correct. Or you can use a contraction. I'm standing. I'm standing. Uh -huh. I'm standing. Yes. Oh, no. Are you okay? 
Yeah, I am wait. Ahí llevaría el I am. Porque uh, no, I hear it. It's, uh, it's different. It's different. Solo es una I pausa. Wait. It's just I wait. It. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, espera. Esto mm -hmm. se está moviendo. Uh -huh. Ajá. How do they say that? It is, it is, it is moving, moving now. Now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay. Excellent. Uh -huh. Now, conversation two. Marcy, how are you and Justin enjoying? How are you and Justin enjoying your shopping? Your shopping trip. Okay, that's correct. Mm -hmm. We we are having we are having heaven. We are a having fun. a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and your brother, Seria. Mm, it's only your brother. Your brother. So your brother. Uh -huh, only your brother. Only him. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do you think is the the correct uh, complement to are ask the question? Spending, are spending a lot mm, are your brother? Mm -hmm. Do you think are your brother is correct? Are your brother? No, that is. Ah, so we have to use is for he. Uh, uh -huh, is your brother? Okay, ahí empieza la It's a question. La, la it's a question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a question. So, mm -hmm. Spending a lot of money. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mo. He. He is buying only one or two things. Two that, uh, things. Uh -huh. Things. Two things. 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 That's correct. Two things. Okay. That's all. Uh huh. Now we're going to practice a conversation. Okay. Okay. So let's go with number one. If you want, um, I can start the conversation and you continue. Okay. Okay, so hi, Zach. What are you doing? Hi, uh, Freddy. Uh -huh. I am standing in an elevator and it's stuck. It's stuck. It's, it's stuck. 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 Está trabado, está atorado, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Um, are you okay? Yeah. I uh, wait. It's moving now. Thank, Thank goodness. goodness. Thank goodness, right? So you have to express like a relief, right? Thank goodness. Okay, okay. now uh, we practice conversation too. Um, uh, Isaac, how how were you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? We are having a lot of fun. We are having a lot of fun. Okay, are you, I mean, is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mo. He, he is buying only one or two things. That's all. That's all, that's all. That's all. Now we switch, okay, we switch. Uh, so you, you, I, well, you start the conversation and I continue. Como? But now we switch the role. So you start the conversation and I continue um, with the conversation too. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Uh, join is you. Yep, you start. Mercy, how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? We're having a lot of fun. Uh, is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom. He's 
just buying, uh, I mean, he's buying only one or two things. That's all. Now we go okay. to the other one. Okay. Same thing. You start the conversation and I continue. Hi, hi, Freddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, hey, Zach, I'm standing in an elevator and it's stuck. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah, I wait. It is moving now. Thank goodness. Okay, so that's the way that we do the conversation. Excellent. We're going to close the breakout rooms for everybody. Hopefully, they already finished. Okay. See you later, man. Thank you for practicing. All right, so we're back. Did you finish the conversations, the two conversations? Yeah, and practice them? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Rodrigo says yes. What about the rest? Do you have enough time? Uh, let me yes. see. Okay, good. So uh, quickly, I need, let me check who was working together in the breakout rooms. Break your rooms, wait. Okay, so we had a uh, number four, five, six. Okay, let's go with number one. We had uh, Dinora and Elena. Can you please practice conversation one? Dinora and Elena. Uh, before you before you practice, I'm going to just clarify the pronunciation of some words. Okay, so in the conversation one, uh, elevator stock that would be it's uh, and it's stock stock right. Uh, that would be like atorado. It doesn't move. Um, and then we say thank goodness. Thank goodness. That is another expression to say thank God. Right. Um, so then we have the conversation too, uh, the shopping trip, having a lot of fun, spending a lot of money, only one or two things, that's all, that's all, okay, that's all. So it's really easy, okay, what are you doing, the conversation one, so Dinora and Elena, ready? Okay. 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 Dinora, I think is your partner and she's here, I think. Yeah, I see Dinora now. Okay. Hello. Start the conversation now, please. Conversation one, yes. Hi, Stephanie. What, what do you do? What are you doing? Hey, my, I am uh, I am in the world and stuck. I'm standing in an elevator uh -huh, and it's stuck. Stuck. Stuck? Stuck, yeah, very good. Did not have? Oh no, are you okay? Yeah, I am fine. Wait. Wait. Uh -huh. okay, one second. Sorry. Sorry. It is moving now. Now, thank goodness. goodness. Thank goodness. Excellent. Very good. Now we continue with the conversation too. We're going to check the the second group. Well, the second pair in the breakout rooms were uh, Sobeida and Alba. 
Conversation two, please. Mercy, how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? How are you just enjoying? We are having a lot of fun. Uh -huh. Are I'm confused. Is your brother. Ah, uh -huh. is your brother very good? Is your brother spending a lot, spending of, a lot money? of money? A lot of money. Uh huh. A lot of no, money. No, mom. He's buying only one or two things. That's all. That's all. Excellent. Very good. Last for them, please. Thank you, guys. Well, in this case, thank you, girls. We're going to uh, move on, and I am going to share the second screen. Okay, so that you can um, see what you're going to be doing, okay, on the platform. The faster you finish with the platform exercises, the better, okay, so that you don't have to worry uh, about anything else. So I would recommend you to finish the exercises as soon as possible. Uh, so in the section five, okay, if we go to section five, you see uh, here, Tell me about your family. Uh, there are three questions. And the final exam here. So if we click here, for example, tell me about your family, it's just three questions. And um, you gotta read here. Okay, so here we have seven questions about Sam's family. Okay, that's something that we were doing yesterday. Uh, the knowledge check, okay. No, let's check. 78% uh, of American high school students have jobs. So that would be most American high school students have jobs. Not many American high school students have jobs or all American high school students have jobs. 78% of American high school students have jobs. So what is the answer here? Most American, not many American, all American. What do you think? What do you think? Most American. Most, and many. most, most and many. because 78 is, is a big number, right? So yeah. most American, okay. 35% of the people in Germany live alone, 35%. Some people in Germany live alone. A few people in Germany live alone. Most people in Germany live alone. Some, a few, some or most? Some people. Some, 35 out of 100 mm, is a considerate number, right? So we check yeah. the answers, we check the answers, and yes, and yes. Yeah, so you got those two yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Now, um, I have to pause the sharing, <laughs> okay? And then you go to the last exercise, okay? The last exercise is about the change in family. So you have to read about this, okay? We're going to be doing this um, in the final classes and you're going to answer the, the questions. Here you have to be careful with the answers because if you don't write the name correctly, if you don't write the number correctly or a word correctly, it will be incorrect. So you have to be careful if you want to do this. But but um, you can do that tomorrow if we, I mean, because tomorrow we're going to be finishing with the majority of the topics. And on Thursday, we are going to be doing some final practices uh, review, okay? With some extra exercises for you to practice and learn more, okay? So okay. if, Possible, if possible, I would like you to anticipate questions, okay, that you would like to ask me about the module or about the language. It doesn't matter if there are questions about other topics that we didn't study, okay? No importaría que fueran preguntas de otros temas que no hemos estudiado. Uh, siempre cuando sea inglés, I can help you out, okay? I, I can try to help you out. Uh, I don't know it all, but what I know, I share it, okay? No lo sé todo, pero lo que sé, lo comparto. So, and then you get to the final test, okay? The final exam. 
you're going to be uh, taking part A, listening, part B, complete conversation, part C, multiple choice, part F, reading. And then you click next. Wait a second, it's not moving. Okay, I guess that we're done here. There you go. So you see, and that's it. You're going to click send and that's it. Um, let me stop sharing. That's uh, the majority of the topics that I want, I was going to ask you or I was going to share with you today, but we're going to have a final activity. So for this activity, I am going to ask you to turn on your camera, the people who can turn on the cameras, please. So we're going to check verbs in English, verbs in English. So I'm going to do a little modeling. Uh, the first person here is Rodrigo. So Rodrigo, I am going to send you a, a message to the chat here, and you yeah. are going and you are going to do the mimics. 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 Yeah. yeah. So I am going to ask a question: What is Rodrigo doing? And based on what you see that he's doing in the mimics, in the like just miming right with gestures, you're going to say he is, and you mentioned the action right, volunteers using the microphone, okay? Um, okay. So I'm going, I'm sending you the command, what you have to do. Okay, Rodrigo? No speaking, okay? No sounds. Okay, what is Rodrigo doing? He is driving. He's driving? He's driving what? A car, right? A car. <laughs> okay, he's driving a car. Excellent. Okay, you can have an accident like that, Rodrigo. Please be careful. <laughs> Drive carefully. <laughs> now we continue with the next one. Uh, so, Ada, I'm going to send you a message right now. Uh, let me look for your name here. Okay, so, Ada. Um, I'm sending you the message. Uh -oh. oh no, wait, I'm going I'm going to change the compliment. Um, just do the mimics, okay? <laughs> no speaking, no sounds. Okay, what is Soveida doing? Pay attention. Clapping. No, she's not clapping. I think you have to do more, more gestures, like. Um, doing mm -hmm. pupusas, doing pupusas. Doing? Are you sure cooking, that is the correct cooking, word? Cooking. Cooking, <laughs> cooking pupusas cooking is possible. Pupusas. How do you say? Pupusas. I said making. Making. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's making pupusas. Very good. Elena. <laughs> Elena, you're next. Okay, Elena. Um, wait, no, sorry. Uh, so it is not for you. I, I already show you what Elena was going to do. So I will change the instruction. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Okay, Elena, go ahead, please. Do the mimics. What is Elena doing? What is Elena doing? Elena, please do the mimics. No speaking. Yeah, only the action. Okay, check the chat. Look at the chat. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, no. <laughs> No? No. Okay, she cannot see the message, so I'm going to do it, okay? This was what uh, Elena was going to do, okay? So she was going to do this. We're swimming. 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 In the pool. Okay, swimming. Swimming, that's correct. Just not that, right? Okay, and the last one, I need just one more volunteer. Let me check. 
Uh, somebody, somebody who can turn on the camera? Nope. Let me check. I see Sereda and Rodrigo only. So, Rodrigo, you want to try another one? Wait a yeah. second. Sonia is there. Sonia is saving the day. Excellent. Thank you, Sonia. So we finish with you. If you get it, we finish the class. If you don't get it, we stay until 10 p.m. Okay. So, um, ready? Okay. Wait. She is drinking. No. She is singing. No. Check check the chat. Um, Sonia. Check the chat. I sent you a message. Okay, do the mimics for that. Uh, it's, I think it's a little difficult, but yeah, you can do it. <laughs> no? Sonia? Can you hear me? No, can you see the message in the chat? Sonia Melara, I think I sent you a message right now. Uh, okay, these are some technical problems that are normal in the virtual classes, online classes. Okay. Typing. Okay, okay, go ahead, do it. Do the mimics. Sonia, go ahead. She's what is she singing. doing? She's singing. She's singing. Okay, she's singing a karaoke. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, because of time, we're going to stop here. Okay. Uh, oh, look at Elena's dog. He's cute. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to stop here, guys. Uh, don't forget that tomorrow we're going to finish with the topics from the section five so that you can finish with the test and everything. And on Thursday, we're going to have a special class with different activities so that we can finish uh, having a lot of fun and practicing English, okay? So have a good night. If you don't have any questions, that's all for today. Okay, so take care of yourself and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, teacher. Bye-bye. You. You're welcome. Goodbye. Thank you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Good night. Take care, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.